Hello students, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to learn about words and books. Let's get started. Before that, let's get into few of the astonishing facts. Approximately one new word is added to English language every two hours and 4,000 new words are added to English dictionary every year. One fourth of world's population speaks at least some English. Shakespeare invented many words such as birthplace, blushing, undress, torture and many more. The word goodbye originally comes from an old English phrase, God be with you. So now let's move on to studying fun with idioms. Idioms are a collection of words or phrases which have a figurative meaning that is generally well established and known. The best of both worlds which means you can enjoy two different opportunities at the same time. See eye to eye which means agreeing with someone once in a blue moon and even that happens infrequently. To cost an arm and a leg which means something is very expensive. A piece of cake which means something is very easy. Let's now learn about the collective nouns. Collective nouns is a noun that appears singular in form but denotes a group of person or objects. The words like army, bunch, pack are example for collective noun. A heap of rubbish, a hedge of bushes, a library of books, an outfit of clothes, a pack of cards, a packet of letters, etc. Let's learn about sound words. Buglers, which means blow, drums, beat, trumpets, blare, horns, toot, telephones, buzz, chains, clank, woods, crackle, cayenne, clinks, coin, jingles, whistles, shriek. Hoofs, clatter, hinges, creak, streams, purr, thunder, rumbles, aeroplane, zoom, bells, peal, bows, twang, flags, flutter, metals, ring, winds, howl, waves, ripple, water, laps, tray, rumbles, silks, rustles, paper, crinkles, heart, beats, hand, claps, teeth, chatters. That's all for today's class. I hope you learned so much. Thank you.